My name is Loie Lane, and I'm so excited to tell you guys about my new podcast, Internet Urban Legends, with my BFF, Snitchery. We deep dive into the darkest corners of the internet to uncover whether some of the most notorious web myths are hoax or whether they're con. Internet Urban Legends, available exclusively on Spotify. Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Hi, hello. My name is Loey. I know I have been a bit MIA recently, uh, and I'm going to chat a little bit about that before we get into the scary side of TikTok today. We'll be taking a look today at 15 videos from the scary side of TikTok. These are some of my absolute favorite videos to do, so I can't think of a more exciting video to finally tell you guys that today, as you are watching this this video, my jewelry collection with Etta Love is now out. Etta Love is an incredible jewelry brand that I'm so excited to finally be working with. I've been such a fan of their stuff. I first heard about them through Bailey Sarian, one of my very favorite YouTubers. Etta Love creates the most beautiful, handcrafted, handmade jewelry for heavy metal hearts. When they asked like six months ago now, I guess as I'm filming this, if I wanted to do something together, collaborate, design some pieces of my own, own and name them and bring them to you guys, I said yes. I was so, so excited to do something like this and I never have gotten the opportunity to before. So we're launching with two pieces today. Uh, the first being the Daybreak Ring. It is this really beautiful phoenix ring depicting him rising from the ashes and it's really gorgeous. I'm sure that um, I'm not even getting the best close-ups here on my camera, but I'll pop in photos as well. And then the second piece that we're launching with is the Dead of Night necklace. This is a really beautiful key necklace with a snake wrapped around it and it has a blue petersite stone, which is like tiger's eye. It's really good for protection and healing and stuff like that if you're into crystals. If not, it's just a really pretty stone. I wanted these pieces to be a promise to both myself and all of you that at the dead of night in the darkest of times when we have to be powerful and brave and step into our own uh, kind of fierce and protective nature of ourselves, of our hearts, of everything, that the daybreak always comes again. The sun will always rise and we can try again if we choose to and we can choose to rise from the ashes bigger and badder and more beautiful than ever. I think these would be amazing holiday gifts as well for anyone in your life who might be interested. So I'll have everything linked down below for you. I would really love if you could at least go and check it out. Even if they're not your style or you can't pick them up right now, just giving them a look seeing them would mean a lot to me. If you're used to shopping for jewelry, like I often have been at like a Forever 21, you know, just kind of like costume jewelry, these might be a slightly higher price point than you're used to. And I think that Etta Love tends to be a slightly higher price um, than like not fine jewelry, obviously. But just remember that this stuff is handmade. This is a small business. Uh, the stones are natural. All of this has a lot of love and ethics and work and soul put into it. Um, and you're supporting a really cool business if you choose to shop my collection. Anyway, without further ado, let's talk about the TikToks. But thanks, Etta Love, for giving me the opportunity to partner with you. Go shop the Loewe Lane and Etta Love collection now. And thank you to all of you guys because I would never have this opportunity uh, without your endless love and support. I love you. Thank you. This first TikTok comes from the user Mackie Albertson. And there were a kind of series of TikToks, I guess, that I was tagged in, all telling different fragments of this story. But I think this one video sort of summarizes uh, what was said. And you kind of just have to watch it to believe it. My friend Amanda is a medium. She sensed something bad buried in my yard. So we started digging. Kaya was interested in this corner. So that's where we started. Ten minute in, we uncovered something strange. It seemed to be a long string. It got scary as Amanda pulled it out the dirt. It seemed to be coming from the bottom corner. There was stuff tied into the string. It just kept going. We had no idea what this was. We looked closer. It looked like bones had been tied in and a sharp piece of wood. We realized the string was a t-shirt thread tag. We were terrified, but it got worse. I dropped the bone and it sounded hollow. 
We kept digging to see if there was more thread. Then something lightweight and squishy rolled out. It had a very strong foul stench. Amanda unrolled it. It was a thick, foamy, leathery material of some sort. I DK what this stuff is. Is this why my house has always been haunted? Kaya no longer had the urge to dig. The next day she woke up with a massive wound on her face. After getting a weird feeling about her backyard, her medium friend suggests that they dig. Her dog starts digging. They find a string with tags and items attached and rolled up leather. Nothing good could possibly come from this. I forgot to mention this in the intro of the video where I've kind of been recently, but actually during my shoot with Ada Love, um, I lost my SD card and it had all of the behind the scenes footage of our shoot that I was gonna show you guys, um, and like several YouTube videos that I had filmed and just not edited. So a lot of these TikToks are from like a couple of weeks ago as I'm finally filming this. What I'm getting to is that there have been updates since. Um, that video was posted in the end of November and there was an update from like the last couple of days since I'm filming this. Essentially in this, and I'll play it for you in just a second, um, the poster says that while things have not gotten like crazy intense since then, she does recognize how insane it is that she dug up bones and ritualistic type of items in her backyard. All right, here's an update on the whole dig situation. To start out, this freaked me out so much, but I went back and looked at the leathery object and it's definitely too thick to be human skin. I don't know about animal, but it's definitely not a human at least. A lot of people have been asking if anything weird has happened since digging it up and honestly the only thing I've noticed is that I've been having really weird scary dreams but that could obviously be a coincidence. But the thing that really terrifies me is Kaya. The next morning she woke up with a massive sore on her face so we took her to the vet. They said it's not a bug bite, it's not a chemical burn so we honestly have no idea what it is. She's been wearing the cone for a week and the sore continues to reopen so this is the part that I'm really scared about. Lastly, everyone's just been like, why did you touch that thing with your bare hands? And to be honest, I have no idea. I saw the bones tied into it and I just grabbed it without thinking to get a closer look. But since then, I reburied it, so I'll update if anything else happens. I understand how scary it must be that her dog is like injured after this and that the injury doesn't seem to be healing itself. I'm actually personally also dealing with a very sick dog at the moment. My dog Annie has been going into the vet like every other day, it feels like recently, for a complication with her sweet little baby sized ears. So I get it. And it's scary when it feels like something's targeting your pets. So I hope it gets better soon. And I just, it's very strange, all of that stuff found in her very own backyard, like very, very eerie. For this next TikTok, I wasn't even sure like what kind of video to put this in, I guess. It sort of reminded me of my Glitch in the Matrix TikTok video that I did in the sense that like, it almost doesn't feel like it belongs in the scary side of TikTok, more so like its own sort of dedicated avenue, like there has to be something for this, but I decided to throw it in here because it's essentially this girl talking about a really bizarre experience she had joking around with the FBI agent inside of her phone. We've all joked around for like the last year or two or even more at this point about an FBI agent being within our phones. It's turned into like a giant meme. Like your FBI agent texts you and they're like, why have you listened to Taylor Swift's 10 minute version of All Too Well on repeat for the last 24 hours, Loey? And you're like, I'm mentally ill, Bob. Anyway, just watch this video and tell me there's not something a little bit odd going on here. I get it, the coincidences happen, glitches happen. The timing of this is weird. Yo, we all joke about FBI agents like watching our but you have to watch this clip and tell me that there is not an FBI agent that's monitoring my phone. I don't know what else to say about this one except that it's very, very, very weird and sus and like, is it a coincidence? Maybe, probably, but it's still really strange. The video, by the way, I don't think I said this before, is from Life of Ayla on TikTok. And if I were her, I would have tossed my phone out the window, so props. Next up is this video from Magic underscore Daniel. Now, he's been making like, I, I guess sort of like a formulaic type of video where he starts it out 
smiling at something lighthearted, and then it transitions to him realizing something's weird about the clip. So this was just one of these videos that people had tagged me in. But I would have to say, I think it's the most interesting one. Basically in this video, I'm just going to talk you through it because there's no audio or anything to listen to. Uh, this woman is just talking. I don't know what this clip is from, by the way. Like, I don't know if this is a politician or what. But basically, as she's looking at the camera for a brief second, you can see her eyes glitch into little slits, almost like the lizard people of the Illuminati that I feel like we talk about so much. And then there's another moment later when she's looking dead at the camera again. She looks up for a split second and her eyes do it again. There's weird noises in my backyard and now I see eyes and you can see a perfect pair of glowing eyes that look like they belong to like a black dog or something. Like it just looks like a gigantic dog back there. But they blink not in succession with each other. And the way that this person was so startled, I'm assuming they must not have a dog. Maybe it was a stranger's dog, like a neighborhood dog just hanging out outside of their house, but I can still understand how that would be very, very jarring. This next video comes from C.V. Nella, who does a lot of like kind of scary TikTok content. Uh, she'll show, you know, just various scary videos and she'll always start it off with, can I show you uh, a scary video? I'm not gonna play the video in its entirety because it goes on for quite a while and it's basically just these guys kind of running around the graveyard, like away from what I think they think are witches. But it is a little weird how freaked out they are, right? Can I show you a scary video? No, because so many of you guys tagged me in this video, and I can see why. It comes from user JR503, and it comes from Veracruz. I'm just gonna tell you this video is actually like uncomfortable and terrifying to watch. So these men go to a cemetery to explore it, when suddenly they come across this. <laughs> I don't know, that one's interesting and made me a little freaked out right before bed. Next up, this one is from Carolina RN 1984, and I don't know that there's any way to preface it. What'd you see? What? It's behind that tree. Niana, what is that? You can see what looks like something or someone peering out from behind a tree. And I don't know, man, if you're just hanging out in the woods and there's no reason to hide, why not just say, oh, hi, I, I don't know, or leave me alone, <laughs> something. But it's a little weird the way that they're trying so hard to mask themselves. And isn't it interesting how it's just a perfectly dark shadowy figure? It crawls right under my skin to look at. Next up, we have one from Strange Activities on TikTok. And we have the caption, hundreds of witnesses, military and police. What is going on in Venezuela? Most incredible UFO OVNI footage ever captured on camera. In the video, you can see something hovering perfectly still in the sky. Like, it looks exactly like you'd expect a UFO to. And then the person kind of pans the camera back to show cars moving and stuff, to show it's not like still, like everything else is moving. It's just this mysterious object in the sky that is motionless. I don't know, man, that one really freaked me out. If there's anything I believe in, it's definitely aliens. I don't know why they'd want to come hang out here. We don't seem to have our stuff together, but really, really freaky. This is kind of a freaky video from got a jewel now I'm cool, which is a funny username. And they said, I'm literally right outside of my house. This guy just came up to my car and knocked on the window. 
He's been walking up and down the street past my car ever since and I'm scared to get out. Essentially, this person uh, had this mysterious stranger come up and knock on their window and then just keep walking back and forth and back and forth in a perfectly straight line over and over again until they were too afraid to get out of their own car. Now, eventually they did uh, in the update videos from this, but that's really scary. I, I really don't like that. Like, can you imagine being that close to your house and not being able to get out and run inside to where you think it's safe because there's somebody just pacing back and forth next to your car? Really freaky stuff. I was tagged in a series of videos by TikTok user Zach Kohler. I hope that's how you say their name. And he lives in a somewhat notorious house. As you'll realize in this video, there's a secret room where supposedly some kind of drug bust took place in this home at some point and it was very public. So we moved into this house about 10 years ago and we always saw the news articles about a huge drug bust that happened in a secret room in this house. We have never found the secret room nor have attempted to look for the secret room, but today was the day we found it. This is what happened. Yeah, I'm yeah, there's something behind there for sure. I can't see anything. Oh my god, there is a room in there. Oh my gosh. Now, when he gets into the room, I think it's interesting to see the inside of it. There's a lot of like very modern stuff, including Xbox One games, but also things like arcade machines and old glasses and, and stuff like that. Like it seems like it has to have been used by someone, but it also seems largely untouched. Now, when the poster ends up leaving the room, that's when they spot what looks like a small child in the doorway. Now, Almost a moment later, the kid disappears. And in the follow-up videos to this, it's just like they don't know where that kid came from, the kid doesn't exist, yada, yada, yada. I'm sure there's gotta be some kind of alternate reality game playing into this because that looks like a child, uh, but it doesn't make it any less freaky. Next up, we have a TikTok from underscore morgue with multiple underscores after their username. And the captioning here reads, I gotta get out of the Appalachias before I die of a heart attack. So I took my dog outside, everything was normal, like cars are driving by, like I live on a pretty busy street, you know, whatever. Everything goes fucking silent. The wind stops blowing. Something whistles directly in front of my face, which obviously nothing is there. My dog freezes and tucks her tail, which she doesn't do. She barks. She barks and tries to fight. So my dog tucks her tail. There's this huge gust of wind and our neighbor's wind chimes start going crazy. So my dog naturally bolts for the door, which I remember shutting, okay? This door slings wide open. So I run and I go inside. I shut the door behind me and I hear something slam behind me. It wasn't the door, I don't know what it was. What the f just happened? While this user is just taking her dog on a quick little potty break, something just stops the entire world around her. There's this huge gust. Her dog bolts for the door, which opens on its own. And as she runs in, something that's not the door slams behind her. I don't know what would have been out there. I have my suspicions, but I think that it's very brave to live in that area. Like, I think that there's a lot of activity out there. It's a very, like, heavy area. The Appalachian Mountains, um, but yeah, that would scare the crap out of me. This next one is from a TikTok account called Bookfest at Tiffany's, who has quite the story about a house that she moved into with her husband. My husband and I just bought a house. It's cute on the outside, but the inside needs some work. He has been working on the bigger stuff like turning the kitchen into the master bedroom and I have been on wallpaper removal duty. Almost everything is covered in wallpaper, the ceilings and the walls, it's super weird. Uh, but I am kind of having fun peeling it off, it's like when you get a sunburn and you're peeling your skin on your shoulders. But anyway, what I realized once I started peeling was that under each section of wallpaper, there is a name and a date. So I was curious and googled one of the names and the dates, and what came up was actually a missing persons report. So I tried another one and same thing, a missing person and the date matched the date that the person went missing. So I wrote down all the names that I had come across so far and they all are missing people. I'm still in shock, but I turned it into law enforcement and now we're not allowed in the house. 
I just got a call that we will not be able to return the house for quite some time because the wallpaper is not wallpaper, it's skin. Can you even imagine moving into a home, being put on wallpaper duty, and as you are tearing off the wallpaper, finding names and years of missing people, only to find out that the wallpaper wasn't wallpaper at all, it was skin. I was fully invested in this and ready to make its own video, basically, uh, until I went to the comment section and realized that this is actually a short story uh, called This New House by Bat Out of Hell 821 that was found on Reddit. And now I have to go read the full story and see if there's anything more to it because my god, what a horror movie premise. Last for this video, I have Zillow Tastrophes. This account is amazing. They show creepy Zillow houses, funny Zillow houses, just tons of listings on Zillow. And this one is scary as sin for no reason. Look, I'm not saying people got locked in closets in this house, but I'm also not not saying that. The person who sent me this house said you have to take the 3D tour. And that's not just because this one room has a cool ladder and a slide. It's that the slide leads to this very creepy tunnel. What is going on here? This dark crawl space connects these two bedrooms, which I guess are the kids' rooms. But in between the rooms is this half-height storage room. The problem with this room is that it locks from the outside, which I guess if you're being charitable means the kids could keep their valuables out of the other kids' reach. It's probably a play space. There are three girls' names written on the wall up here. And the rest of the tunnel leads to this magical bedroom, which has a painting of a dragon right in your bed. And yet again, another one of these weird little crawl spaces off of the bedroom. What do you think the little rooms are for? I'm not sure what those tiny little rooms are for. Coming from someone who lives in a relatively old house, my house is almost 100 years old, there are some quirks to older homes. They're a little bit shorter and ceilings are shorter, doors are shorter, showers are shorter. Everything's a little bit smaller because I think we as people have literally like grown in the last 100 years. But those are some tiny little rooms and I am so curious what they were used for. However, I certainly will not be searching for the answer. There you guys have it, 15 videos from the scary side of TikTok. I'm so curious to hear which ones crawled under your skin, which ones made you a little freaked out. Let me know in the comments down below and don't forget that if you ever want to contribute to these videos, you can do so by tagging me on TikTok at LoeyBugXO and any scary finds you may come across. For now, I wanna say a really special thank you to my subscriber, Michaela, for being a member of this channel. If you wanna join my channel memberships, get one extra video every single month plus extra members exclusive benefits we are getting back on track baby getting ready for 2022 with my members exclusive videos and i'm very excited about the turn we're going to take for my members side of this channel if you want to join you can do so by hitting that little join button it should be somewhere around the screen we would love to have you for now thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy go ahead and give me a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i love you very much and i will see you in my next video bye